Hello students, so today we are going to discuss about equal channel angular processing. Now, it is a method to produce non crystalline materials. Now, in this equal channel angular processing, uh, it is uh, what we do is we have a plunger and this is a sample and uh, this, this internal channel is bent through an angle of 90 degrees and uh, uh, the, so the two channels intersect here and in this way we produce a rod like sample is pressed through the die using a plunger and a shear formation deformation occurs so these are variants of uh, shear deformation Now, despite the introduction of uh, an intense strain, and there is an intense strain, uh, despite the introduction of intense strain, as the sample passes through the shear plane, uh, the sample emerges from the die without experiencing any change in the cross-sectional dimension. So there is no change in cross-sectional dimension, and this uh, this is the equal channel angular processing, and this is used in metals and alloys to find to create ultra fine grains and since a, a very large force is required so it is mainly used in aluminium magnesium alloy which can be easily bent and uh, trials for st steel are still limited now the reason is that since a large force is required through the channel die and Overcoming this uh, large flow stress and frictional stress is required for that is not done. Uh, now the the hydrostatic compressive uh, stress field in the CAP is advantageous and uh, to the point to prevent fracture. So no fracture is created. However, there are some uh, less workable materials. That means uh, those materials where the plastic deformation is limited, like titanium, aluminium, vanadium alloys, where some cracking phenomena can take place due to this shear localization. Now, this ECAP is a batch process, it's not a continuous process. However, uh, it can be made into a continuous one by a process called con shearing process, CP process. And this is an example. This is the annealed uh, aluminium before any type of ECAP equal channel angle pressing has taken place. And after this has taken place, you can see the shapes have changed and the formation of ultrafine grains have also taken place. So, this is a difference from Biochek and Gulf at Madras.